Hey guys, Zach from Primrose Productions Music here. Uh, as I'm sure you can tell by the title, today I want to talk about why people don't listen to your whole song. Uh, with analytics today on almost every streaming service, we'll tell you how long people are actually listening to your music. So let's say you put up a four minute track, odds are people are listening to maybe a minute of it. Uh, even people that are close to you, like your family and your friends that you send the track and have them check it out, they don't even listen to the whole thing. They listen to maybe a minute of it, just long enough to be like, hey, it sounds good, great job, but they don't bother to listen to the whole thing. And so let's talk about what the reason for this is. Uh, I'm sure you probably think that the reason for this is just that people are assholes and they don't want to take the time to listen to what you've worked so hard on and how dare they, that's so mean of them. But in reality, the problem is it's not that they're assholes, it's that your music is just boring. And <laughs> I know that sounds kind of mean, but let me explain. Uh, it's not, I'm not necessarily saying that you're a bad songwriter. Uh, like your songs themselves as a whole may be all right, but it's the production, the way it, the final product comes out, that's what's boring. Uh, let me try it, just picture this. You're listening to a song. Intro sounds pretty good, all right. Uh, we get to the verse, solid, sounds good. Chorus, picks up a little energy, sounds really good. Then we get into verse two, and it sounds exactly the same as verse one. Like, nothing has changed. I mean, the lyrics have changed, but the vocal melody is the same, the guitar part's the same, the beat's the same, everything's exactly the same in verse two. And when something like that happens, your brain just automatically goes, oh, I've heard this before, and you're bored of the song, and you will likely turn it off at this point. So the way to avoid this is just, it's really simple, and it's honestly the most important thing to do when producing music. You need to just slightly change things throughout your song, okay? and. You can do this in a million different ways, okay? You could add a string pad on the second chorus to keep it interesting. You could take away the guitar in the second verse so it's just the drums and bass and vocals. You could add, you know, a little synth run towards the, in the bridge, like just small changes, just little things to keep the listener interested as they go through the song. You don't want any two parts of your song to sound the same. That's really it. It's that simple. Just slight changes. And if you don't believe me, go listen to literally any song that's been on the radio in the last, I don't know, 60 years. You'll hear in all of them, no two parts of the song sound exactly the same. The overall themes may be kind of the same. I mean, it's bound to be. They're like, they're both verses, they're both choruses of the same song, so obviously the overall is gonna sound the same, but there's little differences. Seriously, go listen to any song from the last 60 years that's been on the radio, and you'll hear it. Just pay really close attention. Everything sounds just slightly different. They'll add a part, they'll take a part away, they'll do a cool vocal filter here, they'll change up the melody, they'll change up the drum beat. Just small, subtle things throughout the song. And really, that's all you need, okay? That's how you get people to listen to your whole song, is you don't bore them by making them listen to the exact same part a second time. I don't know how else to put it, that's just, that is the easiest most straightforward way to get people to listen to your whole song instead of tuning out after 30 seconds to a minute of it. So yeah, I hope you guys found that helpful. I know it was a really short video, but I'm, it's something that a lot of people overlook. People don't think about the production side of things. And obviously the songwriting is important, the performance is important, the engineering is important, but if you don't look at it from a production standpoint, the overall vision of the whole thing and how it's going to keep people's interest, then people aren't going to listen to the whole song. And that's not fair to you, because you worked so hard on it. So do yourself a favor and just add a couple little changes through your song. 
get people interested, make them listen to your whole song because they genuinely want to because it's exciting to see the song evolve. Anyway, yeah, I hope you guys like that. Again, short video, I know. But if you liked it, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Leave me a comment. See if you think that this is helpful. See if, tell me if this is something you knew already, you didn't know already. Uh, tell me if you think that I'm totally wrong and you don't need to keep changing throughout the track. You can play the exact same part for 20 minutes and people will still listen, whatever. Uh... Also, uh, on the last video, when I shared it, I said, uh, I told some people that anyone that shared that video was going to get a shout out in this video. So I got a list here of who was on it, and I just want to say thank you to these people for supporting my channel and helping me spread some of these videos around. So, Freddie and BJ from Humdinger and the Bucksnort, thank you guys so much. Uh, if you guys haven't heard of their band, they're an awesome band from Rutland, go check them out. Uh, Amber from Dreams and Schemes Photography. Uh, she's a good friend of mine. She does a lot of great photography. Again, check her out. Uh, John, I, I don't really know who you are, dude, but I appreciate the support anyway. Uh, Frank, who grew up in the same town as me. I haven't seen him in years, but he's a good guy. Thanks, Frank, for helping me out. And, of course, my lovely wife, Allison. Thanks, babe. I appreciate it. Everybody, Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.